In this video we want to show that the Lagrange multiplier test statistics can be easily achieved by running an auxiliary regression. Recall from the last video that the LM test statistics is given by psi LM hat equal to the sum of the individual scores evaluated at the restricted parameters this is a sum from t equal 1 capital T and then we have the outer product of the scores like this sum from t equal 1 to t inverse multiplied sum from t equal 1 to t of the individual scores so this is the quadratic form for the LM test statistics and what we want to show in this video is that this test statistics we can easily calculate as t the sample size multiplied by r square where this is achieved from an auxiliary regression keep in mind also that under the null this is chi square distributed with j degrees of freedom where j is the number of parameters that we test so First, define the following matrices and vectors. First, let S be the stacked individual scores. So S1, theta tilde, all the way to S capital T, theta tilde, like this. And note that each of these, they should have primes. Each of these is a 1 by k vector, a row vector. We have t of those, so s is going to be t by k. Second, define i as just a vector of ones with dimension t by 1. That implies that if we look at i prime i, that is equal to 1, 1, all the way up to t, 1, 1, and when we multiply that together we get t. It's going to be equal to the sum from t equal 1 to t of all the individual scores evaluated at the restricted parameters theta tilde. Finally, that s prime s, it's going to be the sum from t equal 1 to capital T of the outer product of the scores evaluated at theta tilde, like this. So given these definitions, we can show that the LM test statistic that we had before, psi LM hat, we can then rewrite that as I prime S, S prime S inverse, S prime I. That's the second step. So what we want to show now is that we can get this test statistic. This is just an easy way of writing it. Once we know S, we can easily compute the test statistics. We want to show that we can do this by running an auxiliary regression. So the auxiliary regression is something that we run just in order to get this test statistics so we don't do any interpretation of the estimated parameters. So we run an auxiliary regression where we run I, that's just a constant, on S with parameters gamma, and then we have a residual. So note from this model, if we do over S, that will give us an estimated coefficient gamma hat, which is going to be equal to S prime S inverse S prime I. That implies that the predicted value I hat is going to be equal to S gamma hat, which is going to be equal to S, S prime S inverse, S prime I. We also note that once again, I prime I is going to be capital T, that's just the sample size. We also note that I hat prime I hat is going to be equal to I prime S, S prime S inverse, S prime S 
s prime s inverse s prime i and you can see that some of these terms cancel out and we can write this as i prime s s prime s inverse s prime i now we're going to use this for the final step which is to show that if we look at t multiplied by r square that we can write as t and then we have the estimated sum of squares divided by the total sum of squares so that is equal to t multiplied by i hat prime i hat divided by i prime i like this and if we just substitute in for the expressions we just found we get t multiplied by i prime s s prime s inverse s prime i divided by t and we note that these two cancel out and all we're left with is i prime s s prime s inverse s prime i which is exactly the Lagrange multiplier test statistics and this is exactly what we wanted to show so we can run this auxiliary regression, we can easily compute r square multiplied by t, and we have the test statistic that we're interested in. So that's quite easy to do. So we can consider a few examples of LM tests. We have an estimated model, which we could call yt xt prime beta tilde plus epsilon tilde, where beta tilde and epsilon tilde are the estimated parameters and residuals respectively. We have three cases where in all cases the LM test correspond to the null hypothesis that the parameters delta are equal to zero in the auxiliary regression. And note that in all three cases we test the estimated model against broader alternative, a more general model. So for example one is the test for omitted variables which is the auxiliary regression we have i equal to epsilon tilde t which is the estimated residual from the restricted model you multiply that by xt prime gamma plus epsilon t tilde so the omitted variables are wt wt prime delta plus a residual and this is equivalent to the auxiliary regression epsilon t tilde is equal to xt prime gamma wt theta plus a residual and we can compute in all three cases the test statistic as t by r square where r square is from the auxiliary regression. Second case is no autocorrelation and in that case we just run the auxiliary regression epsilon t is equal to xt prime gamma plus epsilon t minus 1 tilde delta plus a residual. The third case is no heteroscedasticity where we run the auxiliary regression that epsilon t tilde squared is equal to xt prime delta plus a residual. In all cases, the test statistic is just t multiplied by r square, and under the null, this is chi square distributed with j degrees of freedom, where j is the number of restrictions we test.